channel so in the previous session we have started the functions concept in python programming in today's session let us have a look on a small concept that is the difference between the local and global variables See, the main difference between the local and the global variables is scope. Scope of local variables will be only within the function. Where the variables have been declared. So here we, we can call it as declared or initialized, right? Next, global scope will be and throughout the program, entire program, right? So how this variable can be treated as a global variable, how these uh, uh, variables can be treated as a local variables. See, so in C language, we have seen that uh, what are, whatever the variables we are declaring above the main function will be considered as a global variables. So here also, the topmost variables that is above the uh, user defined functions are treated as a global variables. See, example, let us take an example. A is equal to some 20, right? Next. So, in, as we have seen in the previous session, every user defined function should start with DEF keyword. DEF followed by function name, right? Display. So, here there are no curly braces. So, we have to represent a block of statements by using indentation. So, that can be done by placing the colon after the header. Now, let us write the print a. So, this is this ends the user defined function. So, here I am writing the normal function that is display. So, let us write here inside user defined function. Yeah. display just this is a function call next I am writing the print I am printing the outside the user defined function right so this is a small program which gives an example for global variables. See here, always a function that is a user defined function should be written at the topmost, right? So after the user defined function only, we have to write the function call. So here, the variables which are initialized above the user defined function are treated as a global variable. So this one will be treated as a global variables and after the user defined function the function call should be written right so this is the function call so this is the inside the user defined function now a is written just above the user defined function so a is a global variable so a value can be used in the entire program that means it can be used in both the user defined function and the main function Right? So, for easy purpose, just we call this program as a main function, right? This is a main function and this is a user defined function. Right? So, here what is the output? First, it will display inside the user defined function 20 
and next it will print outside the user defined function 20. So here in the user defined function we are not uh, declaring or initializing any variable even in the main function itself we are not declaring any variable. We are declaring and initializing a variable just above the user defined function which will be considered as a global variable and that value can be used in both user defined function and the main function. Right? So I hope you understood this global variable. What about the lo local variable? So whatever the variables which are declared in within the function, either it may be user defined function or it's a main function. So that scope will be limited to that function only. So in which function we have declared a variable that will be only used in that particular function. So for example, here let us take some b is equal to 20. Display b is equal to 20 inside the user defined function. Let it be right here. Write one more print function. Print local variable b. Right? So what is the output here? First display function will be called, the function call will be executed so that so b is equal to 20 print inside user defined function a is equal to 20 will be printed right let us take b is equal to 30 next print local variable so local variable b will be printed as 30 and then outside the user defined function a will be printed as 20 if if we write the same statement here local variable b so it will result an error because here the b is not initialized in the main function and b is initialized only in the user defined function so it is a local variable so this one is a local variable where this scope can be used only within the user defined function so it cannot be used in main function or if any variable is declared in main function, let it be c is equal to 40 and if you try to print the c in a user defined function, here also it is an error because here c is a local variable, so it will be used only within the main function. So that is the main difference between the local variable and the global variable, right, see, let us see one more example. A is equal to 10 diff display column print global A next B is equal to 20 print local b write the main function display next c is equal to 40 print local c print global a right so this is a small example so just we have seen in the just now so here b is a local variable so here it will be printed as 10 because a is a global variable local variable it is print 20 here it will be printed 40 it will be printed 10 so here a is a local variable i uh, sorry a is a global variable and b and c are the local variables so b is a local variable for user defined function and c is a local variable for main function now So what is the value to be printed if the local variable and the global variable are of same name, right? So if the local variable is also having the same name, a is equal to 40, here we are printing a. Print a, right? 
So if the local and global variables share the same name, the first preference will be to the local variables. Okay. So here a is a 10, which is a global variable. And here again we are declared a which is a local variable and we are trying to print a in the absence of this one a will be printed as 10 because it's a global variable so with the presence of local variable the first preference the first the first preference is to local variable if local and global having same name if the local and global are having same name the first preference is to local variable now here a is a local variable and as well as it is a global variable now if you write a print in uh, this main function it will print only the local variable output that is here the output will be 40 and here if you print a is equal to 20 a is equal to 20 here a will be printed as only 20 right c c is equal to 20 d is equal to a plus c print d see here c is equal to 20 both are the glo global variables a and b a is equal to 20 c is equal to 20 both are the global variables right so coming to the main function it will display a will be displayed so 20 will be displayed and after that here a is equal to 40 so a will be 40 now and then d is equal to a plus c d is equal to a a value is 40 because the first preference is to local variable so 40 plus c c is not initialized so c is a global variable we have to consider the global value that is 20 so the output will be 60 so here 20 will be printed here again 20 will be printed oh, sorry here 40 will be printed and the result 60 will be printed Hope you understood the difference between the local and the global variables. So the main difference between these two is scope, where we have to use these variables. Right? Hope you understood this concept. Let us stop here. So if you really understood my sessions, uh, like my sessions. And if you are having any doubts regarding this Python programming, feel free to post your doubts in the comment section. So that definitely I will try to clarify all your doubts. Right? So uh, share my sessions with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for listening. Thank you very much.